Thank you for choosing Webster's ES Connect. This video offers instructions on how to properly use Webster's newly designed threaded connecting pins for engineered class chain. This innovative pin is engineered to securely connect Webster's engineered class chain, delivering enhanced strength, reliability, faster installation, and improved safety across the range of industrial applications. Ensure the area where the chain will be assembled is clean from debris or obstructions. Make sure all equipment is locked out following your company's specific safety guidelines. It is also suggested to use heat resistant gloves to protect yourself during the assembly process. Your kit for the ES Connect will include one threaded connecting pin, one spacer washer, one thrust washer, one flange nut, and one cotter pin. Please examine the threaded connecting pin for any defects such as bent or deformed threads. Do not use if pin is damaged. You will need an impact driver, an impact socket. It is suggested to use a 3 quarter inch impact with a torque rating of at least 1500 foot pounds. Before assembly, carefully inspect both ends of the chain to ensure they are clean and undamaged. Place the ends of the chain to be connected in close proximity to each other, ensuring they are properly aligned for assembly. Take the threaded connecting pin and insert it through the aligned chain ends. Ensure the pin passes through each link of the chain until bottom out on the pin's swell neck. Install spacer washer. Then thrust washer. Then thread flange nut onto the pin until snug. Note, you might need to secure the pin head end from spinning until swell neck is engaged into the sidebar hole. Use your impact driver and an impact rated deep well socket to begin pulling the ES Connect pin into the chain. Monitor the head side of the pin and stop when there's approximately 1 32nd of an inch of a space remaining between the sidebar and underside of the pin head. Caution, do not over tighten the flange nut. This will deform the pin threads, making removal of the flange nut extremely difficult. Also, flange nut could be extremely hot. Once the pin is fully installed into the chain, the sidebars could be compressed, not allowing the link to articulate. If the link does not articulate, back the flange nut off until flush with the threaded end of the pin. Strike the threaded end of the pin and flange nut with the hammer until links are loosened to articulate properly. After the links are loosened, remove the flange nut, thrust washer, and spacer. Install supplied cotter pin. Then the threads on the connecting pin can be cut off if needed. Inspect the field connection to ensure there are no gaps or misalignments. Verify that the pin is securely in place and that there are no signs of damage to the chain. Thank you for choosing Webster's ES Connect.